Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Michaela and today's video is going to be how to be a boss teen mom or how to be a teen mom boss. So disclaimer, if in some of these tips you didn't do or if you aren't planning on doing it, that doesn't make you a bad mom at all. These are just some things that I came up with that has worked for me and I just thought this would be a really fun video to make school so by school i mean graduating and it doesn't matter if you do it by going online or by going to school either one works just as good as the other personally i am doing online because i hate being away from my son but some people might work better going to school and that's perfectly fine graduating is super important to getting jobs and getting into college and all of that so it's definitely a step that you should think about taking and that you should take um i understand some moms can't but it is the best thing to do if you aren't planning on graduating or you already dropped out there is the ged now the ged isn't as good as a high school diploma but it is something so if you have already dropped out but you're thinking i wish i would have graduated go back and get your ged because that will be the best thing for you and it will take you a longer way than nothing will save your money so personally i am not good at this i'm trying to get better at this and i'm starting to save money but this has become a huge thing that i realize needs to be done and is necessary to being successful um i used to not save my money and my parents would help me buy formula and it would make me feel really like a really bad mom now it's not bad if your parents help you but i feel like i should be able to buy my son formula if he needs it with my own money listen to your pediatrician now this is a huge one because every baby is different my son was ready to eat baby food at four months some babies are ready to eat baby food at six months so definitely listen to your pediatrician and listen to what they tell you if they tell you he's not ready or she isn't ready for baby food don't give them baby food just listen to your pediatrician and most likely everything will go smoothly always follow directions by this i mean on formula cans like if you buy powder formula you have to put like for every two ounces one scoop and some people don't listen to that and then your baby can get very very sick and possibly die so definitely listen to directions follow directions on your car seat follow directions just on everything follow what they tell you that's the best way to keep your baby safe drive safe i included this because Whenever I drive with my son in the car, I tend to feel more anxious than I do when driving by myself, constantly worried about another car hitting mine or him toppling over in his car seat or just I'm worried about everything. So whenever you drive, drive safe. Don't text and drive. Always wear your seatbelt. Make sure your son's car seat or daughter's car seat is secure. Make sure they're rear facing everything. Uh, go the speed limit on a rainy day or a snowy day go below the speed limit like it's just things that you're supposed to do but you don't think about whenever you're by yourself make sure your car seat is in your car right throughout this video i have mentioned car seats being secure so many times now this is a huge thing because a lot of people don't follow directions on car seats now for some car seats you can use the base and you don't have to use the base the car seat has to be rear facing make sure that his straps or her straps over their body are tight and not loose just make sure you follow your directions if you have any questions there is an instruction manual that always comes with the car seats so that can help you figure out what to do and how to secure it and put it in your car and all of that put down the phone so now i know all of us teens love social media and we're always on social media and i know some days i just want to relax but you can't with the baby so i sometimes catch myself going through social media longer than i should be i put the phone down and i leave it in another room so i'm not tempted to touch it and i just play with my son like i normally would 
and he has a blast, I have a blast, and it's a good time. Have patience. Now, babies, whenever they don't wanna sleep or they're teething or just anything that makes them fussy, it's super hard to have patience because you don't know what to do, you don't know what they want. They might be teething, but they might be hungry. They might be sleepy, but they might be hungry or teething. So you just have to have patience. Never, ever shake your baby. I can't stress this enough. Never shake your baby. Like. This goes along with the have patience, um, but just never shake your baby. It can, it will, and it can break their neck and it'll shake their brain. Lastly, be the best mom that you can be. You know what's best for your baby. You know what your baby wants and needs and how he wants it, how she needs it. It's just, if somebody's trying to tell you different, you know best, you know your baby. Now, if your pediatrician is telling you, don't give him baby food, don't go against that and say, I know what my baby needs. By this, I just mean, if somebody's telling you, Huggies work better than Loves, but you know Loves works better than Huggies, buy the Loves. Those are diapers, by the way. Don't let negative comments or drama or any of that get to you. You're a mom now, you can do this. And teen pregnancy isn't a negative thing. It's something that happened to you and it's just, it can happen to anybody and nobody thinks about that. So just stay positive for your baby. Let them always see you happy and keep a good head on your shoulders. So I hope you guys enjoyed some of my tips. Like I said, don't take any of this personal. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I hope to see you all in my next video.